Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Bibi Quebec and if you've seen one of my previous videos, you saw that I did a small piece, um, or you didn't see me do it actually, but you saw a small piece, a 10 by 10 centimeter canvas where I had a, a metallic silver base and antique silver and I did mention that I was going to do it at some time as part of my exhibition, uh, but in a bigger piece. So that's what I'm gonna do. However, I'm gonna use some different blue colors. So I mixed up my base paint and hopefully you can see it, that it's actually in a quite good condition, good consistency. Um, this is with my new brand that I'm actually using. They have some cool colors as well. It's Mayo Um I'm not sure if you can get it other places um, besides Denmark. I haven't checked, I must admit. Um, I was actually getting it because I was running out of Amsterdam silver and they didn't have my brand Amsterdam. So I thought, okay, let's try something different. And this is it. It's antique. It's uh, quite beautiful as well. And it came out awesomely. The other colors that I have chosen to use today are Thalo Blue from uh, Amsterdam. It is my home mixed um, no, not iridescent cobalt blue. It's the Anthracridon Blue from uh, Golden. It's quite a heavy paint. Um, I had to thin it up, or thick paint, whatever you want to call it. So I had to thin it up a little bit more with water. Then I have a Sky Blue from Amsterdam. And they're so far away. I have the Ultramarine Blue that is mixed with a Thalo Blue from Amsterdam and then I have the pearl blue from Amsterdam so I'm really hoping that it's gonna come out gorgeously so let me prepare the base paint and then I will be right back So it looks kind of funny when it's metallic and it's silver. You can even see where I blew out the bubbles. Maybe you can't on the camera, but I can definitely see it and you can see some funny contrasts here. Right, let's get started putting down the colors. Um, what pattern am I looking for? I think I'm just gonna go for Y again. I'm not sure. Maybe from here. Yeah, let's do it from here. Give it a good squeeze here. And then something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Just gonna add just a tiny bit more. 
because I have a sense that this is gonna sink a little bit into the metallic color. So now we are taking the homemade cobalt blue with some iridescent from Liquitex and it's really coming out of these bottles. Just a tiny, tiny bit to give some contrast. And we will take the Anthraquinon blue from Golden. It was so thick in the consistency, so I really had to add a lot of water. It's funny when I see it here with the other blues, it actually looks almost purple in it. I think it will go very nicely with a purple color. Then we have the sky blue. We will have the mixture of phthalo blue and ultramarine blue. Blue, blue, blue here. And last but not least, the pearl blue from Amsterdam. I wonder if that's enough. I think it's enough. So let's just torch the bubbles. And then let's get down to business. I see a doggy hair. 
This is awesome. I really enjoyed it and I used both my hair dryers and I see yet another talkie hair. Wow. It's like I need to sanitize myself here from doggy hairs. This is very, very awesome. Who doesn't like blue? I really enjoy blue colors. And on this silver background, I think it's very cool. Right. As usual, it goes too fast. This is so beautiful. So um, I'm going to give you a close up, but let me just fix the edges and then I will do it without the studio lights and see how awesome that antique silver is coming out. So I will be right back. So this is the close up. It's very clear that this is a, a metallic color that is the base paint. It's going to be interesting to see how that comes out. I actually do like the way that it's looking here right now, although where I took out the bubbles, I don't like, but uh, besides that, this is very nice. And I see that the cells are really popping up now. That is going to be beautiful when it dries up. It almost looks like purple here. And that's probably because of the pearl blue that comes in, that came in here at the end of the uh, top colors. Those blue colors are really astonishing. I love this part up here. That is absolutely different. And I wanted it to be pan out a little bit more on the top. So that's why I use the small hair dryer as well. I am not looking for a specific pattern. I'm looking for the colors to mix together and come out beautiful. And they did, and I didn't want that much negative space. It really looks awesome here. It looks like a small mountain of colors that are mixing up here and pushing the silver. Yeah, it's uh, definitely something that I look forward to seeing when it's dry. So this is a 40 by 40 canvas. Beautiful, but what do you think? Let me just go back and to have some lights on and I'll be back. So back with lights on, that's quite good. I'm not gonna change anything, I'm just gonna leave it now. Let it dry, let it set. I will check on it in an hour's time to see how things are going. It, it, currently it looks very awesome. Um, things start to settle here. They are building up some small pieces of cells here and there, so that's cool. I really love these ones. It's gonna be awesome. So. Until then, have a fantastic day and week. See you soon. Bye.